So, we want to talk about Blight Ravaged, and we want to talk about how to make money. There are a couple ways that we can make money doing this, and the easiest way to do this is by anointing our map. We're going to take our map, and we're going to roll our map really high, and we're going to anoint it. In my personal experience, the best way to maximize the amount of rewards out of a Blight Ravage map is to use two Silver Oils, two Opal Essen Oils, two Black Oils, and then three whatever you need. My personal preference from here is three teal oils to make the maps go faster. The maps are a lot harder when you use three teal oils, so keep that in mind if you're going to be rolling your maps for three teal oils. Now, when you run these maps, all the mobs are going to spawn immediately. Everything's going to be really hard to do, and like pretty much what you have to do is you have to be able to focus on killing the mobs, placing towers, and just not getting overrun. Blight Ravage in itself is really easy to do, if you have ring anoints and if you have practice the ring anoints that we're going to be used are we're going to be using chilling towers freeze this is a silver opal essence oil this one is still really really strong and really really good the only way that this is bad is if the blight lane is immune to freeze towers and the only way this is bad is if the blight map itself has monsters movement speed cannot go below base value also, since we're using Chilling Towers, it pairs really well with the Seismic Stun Towers, which you'll see when we do the map, and those are affected by Monsters Can't Be Stunned. So if you roll your map and you notice can't move below base value, can't be stunned, you should re-roll your map. Now, granted, when you do the Blight Ravage, rares can spawn, and these rares can have the ability on them to be immune to cold and immune to stun and all that jazz. That's a whole Arc Nemesis thing. That's out of your control. Stuff happens. Now, the second anoint that we're going to use is I still personally use the Meteor Towers Create Burning Ground. The Empowering Towers are still really good. I like the Meteor Towers a lot. This is a Violet Indigo. I think it's called Indigo. Yeah, Violet Indigo. I am a big fan of this particular Burning Ground. I think it's really good for Proxy Shield. It's really good for cleaning up a lot of mobs. It's really good for dealing all of the packs that are stunned and stuck and can't move. You don't need to use this. I like it a lot. You can go for Empowering Towers. Now, keep in mind when you do Blight Ravage, Blight Ravage is heavily impacted by the types of towers you build. So, we're going to go into Blight Ravage and we're going to use four Sacrifice Fragments for more Quant. We've rolled our maps to the teeth. We're playing our Explode, Ignite, Proliferate build. We're going to be doing a Prolif, Explode, Ignite build. If you like the build that you're watching now, there's a video on my YouTube channel. I just released it talking about this build, how it works and what it does. This, alongside, there's the new Fulcrum build that's going out. All of these builds are really good for Blight Ravage, as they just do exactly what I said. They ignite, they prolif, and they explode. Now, because we use the three teals, these maps are going to go quick. These maps are going to go fast. You're not going to have the amber oils that are allow you to build. So you need to be on your toes and pretty much just go, go, go. You're going to want to build your three towers. We're going to deal with DPS towers later. Now, if your build doesn't do a lot of damage and you realize that you just can't kill the bladed mobs and you can't provide DPS for your towers, I would not use the triple teal because the mobs spawn quick. You're not going to get a lot of the, the, um, the currency to make towers. You're going to have to really rely on your character to slow the mobs down. And for some players, that is really hard until you get the gear. Now. From personal testing, if you have a really good juiced Fulcrum character, if you're playing this, or if you're playing like anything that's, like I said, explodes, proliferates, ignites, poisons, or any of that good juicy stuff, killing the base mobs or the little non-unique bosses will be really easy. This is why we focus a lot on building the freezing towers. This is why we focus a lot on building the seismic towers with the empower. Our goal right now is just clean up the little mobs, get the bosses stuck, get a bunch of the blight juice to build towers. And then once we have all the little mobs handled and the bosses are left and the bosses are stuck, depending on what the boss says on it, we can build towers that can deal with the immunity of the boss and deal damage to the boss. But step one is to just get all of the little mobs cleaned up. Step two is to get the bosses frozen and stuck like you see right here. You see the bosses up there, they're frozen and stuck. And then we're just like gonna clean up the map a little bit. Now, we want a character that can do DPS, especially with the teal side of things, because we want to make sure that our towers aren't going to get overrun by the sheer amount of mobs. And since the towers and the mobs are spawning so fast, 
and we don't have a lot of time to build the the offensive towers we want to make sure that we get everything taken care of because if our towers get overrun and the mobs overpower the towers they'll flood your pump you'll lose immediately there'll be nothing you can do it'll feel really bad and you're just going to be super duper sad and then you're going to come in the comment section of this video and you're going to yell at me and i'm going to just kind of look at you and say xdd corpa and then from there this is what we do man we just like we use our little poison build we clean up all the little mobs and then as soon as pretty much oh my god nice explosion nice explosion nice explosion we're lagging we're lagging we're lagging see see we got overrun on the bottom see that's what happens you get overrun on the bottom the mobs push out the boss the boss doesn't get stunned the boss runs into our tower and that is that and then you almost lose because you're not paying attention and you're xdd and corpa you know the youtube channel see that's it now a lot of the money which we're gonna see that's gonna come out of this is going to come from oh god we're gonna lose don't do it don't you do it don't you do it don't you make me re-record this don't you make me re-record this i will leave this pump explosion in xdd we did it nice see we just cosplay barely losing this i'm this is why i really really recommend if you're doing blight ravage to not do the teal unless you're like absurdly powerful or paying attention so now this is we win here and you see coming out of the pump right now is a bunch of bases these bases are where a lot of your money is going to be spine bows are 8c crystal belts are 10 or spine bows are 10c crystal belts are 10c pig face bassinets are 5c penetrating arrow quivers are 8c Penish, you know we got a forbidden tome and a lot of this the prices will change depending on where you're at in the league when you're watching this when you're referring to this but essentially these bases are what we're looking for this is just a nice little chunk of extra currency we have what 10 20 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 ish c just from the explosion that covers all of our oils that we use on the map and then everything else that we loot, the clear nothing that my loot filter is picking up will pretty much just be the extra profit. Now, depending on how lucky you get, how much you kill, how much you don't let leak, because we let a lot of mobs get through on this one, your pump explosion will probably be a lot more massive. Now note on my loot filter, because of what I want to deal with and what I want to loot and what I am willing to sell in terms of bases is a little bit different than other players. There is a list of bases that you'll be able to find in the list of bases that are usually really good. I'm gonna include a large list of bases thanks to my friend Bearded Fox. He provided me with a good list of bases that you guys can use and those will be all in the description of this video. I'll also post them in the Discord. I'll post them in the Twitch chat if you're watching this while it's being recorded live. And they'll be able to give you guys a lot of insight on like what you should be looking for. Hey, thanks for the Oh, it's made of gold! And what you guys should be looking for and what you guys should be paying attention to and pretty much just what you should be like overall looting from the map there are things that you want to grab there are like i-86 spine bows those are coming off of the pump explosion that's what we saw down there you're gonna want amethyst rings minion rings spike gloves it's sack garbs but you're not gonna get sack garbs here you're gonna want feather head quiver feathered feathered quivers broadhead quivers and then there's like a couple of other things that I'll post in the description that you guys can like check out and just kind of keep an eye on. Now, these things can sell in bulk. I sell all of my bases in bulk on the trade website. And I know somebody's going to be like, how do you sell bases in bulk on the trade website? I literally throw them all in a tab. I'll show you that guys in a second. I put all of the bases in a tab. When somebody whispers me to buy a bow or a base, I simply ask them how many. They usually majority of the time will want more than one and they'll tell me how much they want. Ooh, an exalt. Even if they don't want multiple and they want one, usually I'll like hop out of what I'm doing. I'll make my 10C sale and off to the races we go. Though what's really cool is over the day while I've been doing Blight Ravage on like stream, I've had a lot of people buy a lot of different bases for me. And you can see just like as I like empty my inventory right now, like you get a lot. And I mean a lot of crap out of these maps. You get a lot of red tier maps that you can sell. We got a uh, forbidden Tome. These price checked at the current moment. These are about 30C a piece. If you have them in bulk, you can get a lot more. 
you know, certain uniques that can be really good. That was actually rolled really bad. We're getting incubators, we're getting stacked decks. And overall, like the light map that you witnessed that I just ran was one that was more on the lower end of things or like not even on a high end of like explosions of loot that you can get out of these. Now I can run another one, but that would cut this video to be a lot longer. And you know, I'm pretty sure you guys don't wanna sit here for like another 40 minutes watching. So if you guys want more of these videos, or more explanations of in-depth like this, and you wanna see more, you know, you just you just let me know down below. So this is what I'm talking about. See, if you just price out Spinebow, eye level 86, these are 10C. If we just grab helmets and then pig face bassinets, these are, well, I guess they're down in 3C now, but we were selling for 5C earlier. And prices will fluctuate and prices will change. These are 5C. You can see there's not a lot of bases left at 5C. They're probably closer to eight. So you'd be able to sell these for eight. These crystal belts, 86 oh my god these have gone up they've gone up boys <laughs> let's go dude and then you just pick up bases now depending on what you personally want to craft or what you know people are looking for or what people are doing you know you can really make a good amount of profit doing this you can really capitalize on what's going on and you know you make a little bit of money so like i have a tab here i'm gonna throw the bases in i'm gonna throw these in for now I'm going to sort all this out later and I'm going to get these all priced and sold and, you know, I do a couple of blight maps, make a couple of quick divines, looting your maps. And, you know, that's that's really it. Blight itself is, you know, really easy, really straightforward and really simple. The only hard part or the thing that you're really going to struggle with is like if you use teal essences and you're constantly getting overrun, it becomes a little bit trickier, a little bit harder. And, you know, overall, all in all, like just don't do the teal the teal cuts down your map a lot you see we've finished looting the map and take care of the map about it says about seven and a half minutes that's with talking to you guys looting the map not really paying attention almost losing the map so forth and so on but if you pretty much just like do a regular blight ravage map and you don't use the teal oils and you grab just regular overall oils your map time will probably be between eight and nine minutes so essentially like like i said like if you can't do teals and these make your maps 150 seconds you know i would just do the amber oils reducing the cost of the towers is just absolutely massive it makes the map infinitely easier you won't struggle you won't leak you won't do anything like that and, you know so forth and so on it's pretty good now there are other things that you can be looting in the map there are things that you could be grabbing there's these flasks i want to come back and get these flasks and then if i press alt I'm pretty sure we're going to crash. But as you can see, these are all the different bases that you can get. There's conjurer gloves, there's serpentine staff, there's siege helmets. I probably am going to start picking up siege axes as I want to start going back down into the mines and start making weapons to the mines. But if you're looking for specific bases like thicket bows, which I'm actually going to price out this thicket bow really quick. We can see I-86 thicket bows and yeah, they're not that much. But yeah, you could just kind of like hold alt, pray to God your game doesn't crash and like take a look around and see what there is. These are all the 86 bases off the explosion. There's all these other oils that I didn't pick up that are all being filtered out because a lot of them I just don't want to deal with right now and I'm looking for specific things. And overall, your blade maps just become really profitable really, really, really quick. So, yeah, man, have fun, good luck, loot your maps, let me know how it goes, and like I said, if you want to talk more about Blight or more about farming strategies or builds for Blight or any of that, please don't hesitate to let me know, leave a comment, yell at me in Twitch chat, ping me in the Discord and the PoE Generals channel, and, you know, we'll go from there. For now, friends, this was Blight and making some currency. XDD faced.